black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what up world, back with an absolute classic banger, essential, dirty down, working man's, you know, international home plate right now. We're sliding into home plate, but this is a home plate. Like you just, you cook it up at home. It's made by grandmas and cabbage rolls and Ukrainians and Polish and people and things like that. And you know, it's just, it's a God plate really. So I'm so excited to get into it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna just gonna go with the flow. Good vibes. Blue skies are plenty. We're in the backyard. I'm feeling kind of blue and stuff. The energy's right. Okay, and I have worked my butt off today. So, at a working man's job, working man's hands. But uh, we'll get into some things. We gotta get to the plate though. It's fresh, hot off the grill, and it's time to kill. So, you know we have to have sour cream. 
We got plenty of that on side. Let's pour up, of course, you know. Ice to the brim, a Diet Dr. P, remedy me, take away all my problem. So we pour and we take a moment of silence with both the fizz ASMR, and we just say RIP to all the dead people out there. Just if you're out there in the world and you're dead, RIP you, you know, you came here, you had your time, Lord called you back home. If there is one, I don't know, that's hopeful. We all just might be organisms who are here for a while and gone into the darkness tomorrow. But hey, you know what? Before you were born, you didn't know you weren't here, and when you're gone, if you don't again, then, you know, no big deal. Okay. Starting off morbid, I tend to do this. And we got some mustard on the side. We're gonna keep it simple with the sauces just because there's it's classic. We're keeping it classic. You have to be classic. So we got some mustard for the sausage, of course. But first I gotta mix in with the sour cream. So let me bless these cabbage rolls. A little dabble for you, sir, and you ma'am, madam. You know what? I just like it on all. I really wish, and this is one bummer of this meal. It's the one bummer is that uh, you got to sour cream the rogies too. If you uh, if you're, you have any experience with cabbage rolls, you'll know that they're usually a little bit like more tomato saucier. <clears throat> These came in a pack where the, the tomato sauce is kind of pasty on it, but uh, I didn't have any extras to, to cook up for myself. So we're kind of lacking on that, but let's pop this open, crack you. This, this plate is still gonna be steaming hot too, okay. You know what? The first thing I actually want to do is take a bite off this crispy ass sausage. First of all, look at that. Some of you might say, hey, that's a little overcooked. I say nay nay. I say nay nay. It's a little crispy, but the thing is, I love it like that. I just love crispy sausage. With a little mustardo hit. That's a two o'clock in the morning craver right there. I hate when my shirts fall forward like this. Captain Crunch. See, for me, that's what's crucial. It's all about oh, that crispy skin. And yo, straight up that slice technique that I showed you there. When it curls and opens up and opens up the inside and it gets these crispy bits on the edge here. And then we're still good inside. Game over, ladies and gents. I love that slice technique. I learned it from all the boys on the grill outside the club. Oh, I shouldn't say boys on the grill. If you're on a grill, you're a man, brother. You got the plan, brother. Ooh. A flavor I know, but it comes back to remind me. In this classic meal, Polish and stuff like that, they always have like a nice pickle. This is a kosher dill. Made by Clausen. It's my all-time favorite absolute dream pickle. Can't nobody test this pickle. Okay. Let's get to these rogies. Got you. You know what? I don't know if I want to be dainty and proper and go with a knife. Or maybe just like hand bomb this. Okay, guys. <coughs> That is a loaded flavor explosion. Now, if you don't know what a pierogi is, uh, let me educate you. Mm. 
before I do that, wow. I just need to take that moment. So let me educate you. A pierogi is sort of like a dumpling type dough. Thin basic dough. Filled with, it can have variations, but most classically, lightly seasoned mashed potato mixture. And usually some, some sort of cheese mi into the mixture. Essentially what it is, it's really simple and amazing. And you kind of can dress them up how you want. I prefer the classics, onion. Usually it's with bacon, but this time I just figured I got these sausages, you know? And to be honest with you, I might be converted because I nugget these guys up and crisp them up to the point where it's like, mmm, almost better than bacon. I, of course, took it the extra fat guy way. You gotta take it a step further. You add cheese to that. It's like mozzarella too. Nice and processed and salty. You're laughing. I am in a realm of flavor I can't even describe. I'm in, I'm in the sixth dimension of flavor. Like real talk. Don't play games with me. cabbage roll come on how do you guys feel about it I think they're amazing I just do wish I had more tomato sauce now if there's some of you out there that have never had a cabbage roll it's literally rice and difficult to eat apparently rice ground beef seasoned up to some degree, rolled up into a leaf of cabbage, and cooked down with tomato sauce. Absolute fire, in my opinion. And this is just, it's a home plate, guys. I rarely, I just feel like I never have a down, down dutty home plate like this. Just not often enough. And they're just so good. The reason why I needed this so bad was because I grew up on this stuff. And, you know, as you guys know by now, I'm back in my home city right now. And this stuff is like sort of inherent native to here because um, the population here, there's a lot of Polish, Ukraine, and Finnish people. So the, kind of those heritages. And they're all known for this stuff. So there's grandmamas slaving away all day. making these little bundles of joy, you know? So I cheers to them. I cheers to you, old Ukraine, Polish ladies. I love you. My tongue loves you. My stomach loves you. My taste, delight, sensations, love ya. This would be an amazing hangover meal, in my opinion. Dunk it. Oh yeah, these are jalapeno cheddar, by the way. So the extra flavorful.
Mm -mm. The city actually has a lot of good food. And I really gotta show it on the chan. Mm, that's so nice. Mm. Maybe like this. Maybe we make them intermingle and be home homeboys. Pickle sausage sandwich. It's too real out here right now. I'll tell you why, especially because I just scorched my fingers on the pen. Literally when it happened, I yelled out loud, that's third degree. <laughs> That's third degree. It's so weird too. It's like when you burn your hands that bad, my skin feels like plastic now, which is a strange sensation. Mmm, come on. So good. Look at this. And anything, it's like a little pizza slice of cheese and sausage that's been cooked together. I think that looks like that is going to taste incredible. This is a play around, you won't be around play it. In total, it was seven pierogies, four cabbage rolls. And I'm going to try my best to dummy the whole thing because. I got nothing going on after this. I'm just gonna lay down and be a pile. Cause me and my boy built a deck between yesterday and today. Come on, plane boy. That's okay, you're chill. You're just doing your life. I'm just jealous that you're flying. I wish I could fly. Hmm. Sorry, we demolished the deck. One day got rid of everything. And then now we built most of it today. So, I got working man's hands. I got burned cooking man's hands. Uh, all these banged up things. I got blisters. Yet, I still come home tired as balls. Covered in dirt, sweat, sawdust. What do I do? I get to the grill and I chef this for your viewing, viewing pleasure. It's like, I'm on my grizzly. So please respect it. And if you do, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell. Become a part of the notification gang. That's Quantran. But I'm supposed to battle him at some point. And I can't wait. I do want to. It's just, once again... I could probably do it in this scenario, on the backyard barbecue, but you know what? Quan's just got so big now that I can't match. I just know if we battle, he's going to buy like $300 worth of ingredients. It's like, I just can't get there, my guy. But every video he releases now is like literally like tables full of food. So, he's making that YouTube bank for sure, because his videos are... Family friendly, pretty clean, wholesome content. He's amazing at what he does too. But he's rolling in the in the cash. Between that and, and his ASMR channel. Guys easily making probably a few hundred thousand a year, if not more. jealous much yep <laughs> what do I give what I would give to just make a a general li living but whatever still love to do it
keeps me entertained. And like there's perks to it and stuff, obviously. Like I'm not I'm not getting paid, you know. But it'd be nice if it was more. Does it keep you entertained anymore? Cause I don't know. I feel like my views be suffering lately. You know, I'm being consistent, putting up pretty good content, but I think YouTube maybe just has it out for my channel. I think I started my channel like too intense, like too. It just knows like I have a reputation in the algorithm that I'm like a very outspoken, <laughs> don't hold my tongue kind of YouTuber. And I feel like that somewhere along the way, the algorithm like learns that data about you, about your channel. And then YouTube just kind of like stashes you in the background, doesn't put you on the recommended or anything like that. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we're coming to the end here and it's just like, I want to dust the rest of this, but I just don't know if I can. Also guys, one thing I've learned is like since being here or whatever, I th yeah, it's just more here than anything, but flies, bane of my existence. Between a black fly and a mosquito, I can't get no rest. So I, I'm swatting every two seconds. I got someone, or you know, 20, 30 things trying to draw my blood. And then I got a little tip on my ankles like let me live like who are you why are you here you you literally exist for like two days and then you die how about just don't exist how about just don't be here like you don't even affect the system like you're not important if you all died, I'm sure the planet would be just fine. Like, no RIP flies. Good riddance flies. Uh, I've hit the wall. But so good looking still. Oh, this is my struggle in life. Okay. When your when your body knows you can't, but your mouth's like, I need that. Sorry. I need that. Please give me that. And your stomach's just like, bro. No. Okay. I can't do it. I'm dying down here. Ooh, that's a photo finish. Too good. Too hot to try out, too good to be true. Guys, it was it's too amazing. You just have to figure it out for yourself. But you can't buy those bullshit bag blah, blah, frozen aisle bullshit. You need the grandma ladies. So find ethnic grandma ladies, throw them in a church kitchen, slave them into these, and then have a nice dinner. Okay? To the next one, you know what to do. You gotta eat good, live well, stay true. Peace.